Hi, I'm Marty Mongello, and I have been working for the better part of 11 years of research in and around the Charlotte region. Uh, I live here, and as a former presidential aide and working with the Smithsonian and Library of Congress uh, with the Presidency of the United States for five different presidents now, 25 years, um, it's been a real joy to get this second master's degree from Lenore Rhine University and uh, as part of my practicum to be researching women in war in and around the Charlotte area. Yeah, one of the huge reasons for me doing this is I'm a, a tremendous proponent of the Me Too movement and Time's Up and really women uh, coming of age and, and breaking those glass ceilings is, is on my mind, especially with an eight-year-old daughter. Uh, my wife also, um, honestly, was in the military herself, so I've just always been a big supporter of women. And when it came to researching and bringing to light women's contributions to create this country, the United States of America, um, this was a golden opportunity for me. This has been an unbelievable odyssey for me. Uh, about four months now studying at Lenore Ryan University and at the Charlotte Museum of History and now uh, being a guest speaker at Sycamore Shoals State Park in Tennessee, uh, getting ready to, to head on over there and be a guest speaker for the Women in War uh, exposition that I've been sponsoring and researching and doing. So uh, it's just been quite amazing to research and study women uh, during the 1700s. Part of that odyssey that I've really enjoyed is the study of Mary Patton and many of the other women around uh, Charlotte and the Charlotte Metrolina region, which extends into Western North Carolina. And uh, this odyssey in publishing the book for Mary Patton has just been fantastic. Uh, she, of course, comes through Charlottetown and Charlottesburg, or if you just want to call it Charlotte many times, is a regular part of the society around here uh, in selling her black powder. So. People really do know Mary Patton. Uh, Mary Patton first, of course, moved down from Pennsylvania to live in this region here, and then would come through uh, riding often with her husband, John Patton, headed to Wilmington and Charlestown and Savannah and selling her black powder. Mary would often stop and stay at taverns, of course, with her husband. Um, and one of the most famous is Captain Jack's Tavern uh, in Charlotte. So if you're headed to the coast selling your black powder, um, it's pretty awesome to be able to stay with friends like Colonel Hambright and Colonel Cleveland and all the people who live around here. Uh, Colonel Hampton to see them or even to write to them and tell them I will be in Charlottetown soon and to give them the exact date. And then of course they would buy black powder at the tavern from her because she brought it with her. Uh, the link with Captain Jack, of course, and Mary Patton as uh, good friends is Captain Jack. Everybody knows they, they kind of ride around Charlotte and they see the massive uh, half million dollar statue of Captain Jack up on his horse, uh, riding with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Declaration of Independence to Philadelphia. And so uh, these are the types of friends that Mary has in and around the Kings Mountain and Charlotte region. And then finally, uh, many of the other women in my research have just been fascinating to discover and come across. Uh, the Alexanders are some of the most famous, uh, starting with the Hezekiah Alexander House which is right behind the Charlotte Museum of History. But also uh, Colonel Polk's house is right on the court square of Charlotte. It's the only house painted white. And one of his daughters uh, married uh, the governor, uh, actually the first governor from the Charlotte Metrolina region uh, for the state of North Carolina. So many of these women are uh, intimately involved. And one of my favorites is uh, Hezekiah Alexander's wife. And finally, I would just wrap up some of the more famous things today with uh, the women that are participating and helping in the war effort here and around Charlotte really is uh, Mary Sample Alexander, Hezekiah Alexander's wife. Um, she is the one during the occupation of Charlotte who is doing the secret signals up in the window of the house. So the next time you're at the house uh, behind the Charlotte Museum of History, 
and you're upstairs and you're looking out one of the windows, you'll think about her signaling to the men, uh, particularly uh, sons um, were signaled to. It's safe to come back to the house right now. The British are actually not here right now and you can resupply quickly, but get out of here. So uh, this was often done by many different women to assist the war effort up in the windows of the home, secret signals.